Good day to you. Today I am going to explain the features of Beagle Bean Black. So <clears throat> I am looking into the data sheet of uh, Beagle Bean Black. The it has a processor based on TA Citara AM three three five eight B processor, which operates at a clock frequency of one gigahertz, which can process the two thousand million instructions per second. It has a graphic engine, separate graphic engine, SGX five three zero three D. So you can process any information with respect to videos. Video processing can be done with this processor. It has an onboard RAM of five twelve MB DDR three L eight hundred megahertz RAM. So with this processor and the RAM capability, you should be able to load. OS like Unix, uh, sorry, OS. You can load Linux OS, so it can work like a simple computer. It has an onboard flash of 4 GB, and then it has a power management controller of TPS 65217C. It has debug support with 20 pin CTA JTAG serial header. It can it, the board that that is big enough in board can be powered with mini USB or DC jack. It has LED indicators with one for power, two for Ethernet, and four for user controllables. It has USB client, high-speed USB 2.0 client port, and then high-speed USB 2.0 host port. It has a serial port of VRT0, and then it has the Ethernet using RJ45 jack, and then you can have an external SD card also, which operates at 3.3 volt. It has reset button, boot button, and power button. And then it has a HDMI output where through which you can connect the processor, connect the board to your external TV monitor or any other monitor which has HDMI input. It has an audio output also via HDMI interface stereo. It is weighs only just the 40 grams of weight, and the power it is some it consumes up to 500 milliampere at the 5 volt input. So these are all the basic features of uh, Google. Beagle Bean Black. So now let us go a little bit deeper into the board. Let us go to the data sheet of Citara AM three three five eight B processor from Texas Instruments. The processor based on ARM Cortex C eight up to one gigahertz processor, and then it has the L one cache of thirty two KB, and the one sixty KB of ROM and sixty four K of RAM. Everything is inter inside the. ARM Cortex processor. Apart from that, it has a graphic processor, Power BI, a GX 3D GFX processor, and then you can interface 24-bit LCD controller, the touchscreen controller also, and then it can support communication protocol like Ethernet, Profinet, Ethernet IP, and many more. So, if someone you are planning to have a SCADA system, then this process is very good. You can design if you have resources, you can design a SCADA system, and then you can challenge leaders like Anvil, etc. And then apart from that, it has a serial port of six watts, and then two SPA, three I two C, and then MCA SPA to four channel, and then CAN bus also. Since it is having CAN bus, this processor or this Beagle Bean board can be used in automobile sector also. And then it has a video processing capability, so it can be used for internal entertainment system, where you can display videos and then songs and everything also. It has the eight timers and the one watchdog timer on real time clock also it is having, so it can maintain day, day, time, hour and minutes also. And then more, more of it has eight channels of VDC of twelve bit resolution. So you can directly integrate any industrial sensors and other things. It is is operated by crystal oscillator. And then apart from it, it has many general purpose I/O pins also. So what is not available it is it doesn't have a Wi-Fi radio or Bluetooth radio. And then it has PWM control three channel PWM controller also available in this process. So you should be able to directly control any motor also. So these are all features of the Citara processor. It external memory interface. You can integrate MDDR up to 100 megahertz clock or DDR2 or DDR3 or DDR3L. So any of these things can be integrated with this processor. 
it has a grip to hardware accelerator so security can be built in inside the processor it has various boot modes it has a 298 pin pbga processor with a 0.65 mm ball pitch so it is a very good small very package applications so you can go for gaming peripherals home and industrial automation consumer medical applications printer smart towel systems connected vending machines weighing scale education console advanced i can make many more products using this one but if a texas has entered integrated wifi and bluetooth that will be much more powerful than this one we hope they will come out with those features in the coming days citara am 335x processor is a multi core processor but i don't know texas is one doesn't claim so doesn't use the word multi core but it has one core operating on 1 gigahertz 32 bit processor risk processor and then there are two more programmable real time memory they call it programmable real time memory but it is a 32 bit load so risk processor capable of running at 200 megahertz so these two cores are totally independent of each other these two cores are handle all the io gpio i to c adc spa and then uh, spa can bus and everything so it can take care of all the real time application independent of the main core that is arm quarter score and then handle all the data uh, data acquisition or controlling other external units so the main core will be relieved of uh, taking care of real time events but these two cores are closer to the metal and they run faster and they take care of all the events the pre core enables traditional peripheral interfaces and real time protocols such as ethercat profinet ethernet ip profibus ethernet powerlink zircos and others Additionally, the programmable nature of the PRU ICS, along with its access to pins, events, and all system and resources, provides flexibility in implementing fast real-time responses, specialized data handling operations, custom peripheral interfaces, and an offloading task from other process core lab SOC. Beagle Bone Black can be designed to perform a SCADA, that is, supervised control and data acquisition system. It has such a powerful processor. It can it has a high end uh, programming of C because uh, Linux is running as a platform, and it has two co-processors running at 32 bit and 200 megahertz, which can be used to sense to control the inputs and outputs. That is, various uh, peripherals can be controlled using the two cores available in the processor. That uh, ARM quota score can be used for processing the high level data. high level for performance or uh, uh, os level performance and then the other two cores can be used to control all the peripherals like uh, adcs digital ios and other uh, communication devices like i2c sp and etc so this this is such a powerful but only one thing is a uh, sensor input from the shop floor or industry can be directly given to the black uh, beagle bone because it has to be uh, some protection has to be included at least some zener diode or surge resistor has to be provided but they are not available in the beagle bone board <coughs> so we have to put another doctor was on small card where uh, the signal can be processed either protection has been given some signal from the industry may be millivolt signal that has to be amplified some signal may be higher voltage 5 volt and no that has to be automated those features can be added in another card then it becomes a fully functional data acquisition system or iot device or anything as you want to call it we can think of the following application for beagle bone black at the outset we can use it as a development platform for sitara series of uh, <coughs> microcontrollers from texas instruments as is very obvious you can use it as a general purpose uh, computer uh, where you can do some basic operation like browsing the internet and other things some basic calculation that the word process can be done and you tested similar function using <coughs> raspberry pi but i am not able to uh, view uh, youtube videos or i can i am not able to conduct video conferencing other thing but a simple operation i am able to do but i able to do pcb design using raspberry pi 
So similar work maybe should be possible using that. I have not tested this board, but I am getting a board in a few days. I will test it and then give you, I can give you more updates on this one. Other application which I can think of is it has ADC inputs and other they can uh, digital IOs and then PWM all uh, communication pro protocols like uh, <coughs> RS232, I2C, SPI, CAN, Ethernet etc. So this can be used in industrial environment. <coughs> So you can, this can you work as a IoT gateway. The only negative point is it doesn't have any Wi-Fi or Bluetooth capability. But I think that can be easily added to this board by some other uh, another daughter board or something like that. If I look into the only the Sitara processor, and then I have studied the processor capabilities, and then the, the cost is also per rise is around thousand two hundred rupees in low volumes. So higher volume the price may come down even to 500-600 rupees. You can design lot more products around Sitara. One is entertainment car infotainment system or entertainment system because the IC cars only they have a five may cost in large volumes or maybe around 500-600 rupees. Plus you got to add one touch skin. You can directly integrate the touch screen with the Sitara. So you can design very cost effective uh, product for entertainment via based on this one. But you have to add that if you want wireless capabilities like Wi-Fi and then Bluetooth. So and then maybe you may have to add some GPS modules also. Those things can be easily added with the sitar and other things. What other applications I can think of is you can uh, develop um, HMIs, human machine interfaces, because it can easily handle touch screens and other things. And then other end it can give uh, you can access um, various IO pins so that you can give command to command or give any communication we use a communication port like R232 CAN and everything since this has a CAN capability this can be easily used in automotive sector also for doing various processing of a lot of microcontrollers are getting into the getting into the automobile so you can think of and then you, you may be aware of uh, tiny ML that is uh, machine learning or uh, AA artificial intelligence that also can be easily implemented into this uh, processor because this is a 32 bit controller. So any rudimentary image processing or any can be installed in this uh, industrial application for any medical or civil applications where we process lot of images and can come to some conclusion also. Very low cost, low cost AA based solutions can be developed using this processor. So that is another upcoming product one can think of. Beagle Bean Black or Sitara processor can be used to take care of the entire electronics requirement of an electric vehicle. As I already told you, it has three cores. So one core can be used to take care of more dry mechanism that is dry for the electric vehicle. And then another core can take care of the charging and the BMS for the battery for the battery. And then that the main core, that is ARM quarter score, can be used to, to take care of the infotainment and other overall management of the vehicle. So one single processor costing rupees maybe around thousand is more than good enough to take care of the complete electronic requirement of an electric vehicle. I think I have given a brief introduction for Google being black. Let us meet in another session of uh, electronics. Till then, see you. Tata. Bye bye.